at a list. As you can see, nothing happened, meaning the adjacency didn't go down. This is a very powerful feature that allows us to show that the system is really reliable, that the system actually has uh, has been designed around the concept of zero service disruption. So the OSPF was killed, the, OS, uh, the, system, the operating system restarted the OSPF, and the 6500 on the other side didn't even realize that. How do we do this? We have an internal database where all the processes that support stateful process restart sync their state so that in case of a crash, the system can go back, uh, the process can go back resume the state before the crash and without uh, advertising anything to the neighbors can come back online and the neighbor doesn't even realize that the process crashed and restart. Step number nine, NetFlow. The Nexus 7000, as you know, offers a very powerful implementation of NetFlow. Some of the most important aspects of the Nexus 7000 NetFlow are scalability, effective hardware-based sampling, support for TCP flag, support for NetFlow B9, to mention a few. In, ter in terms of NetFlow configuration, an XOS follows the Cisco IOS flexible NetFlow conventions. NetFlow on uh, an XOS is a conditional service as uh, OSPF. And it needs to be enabled for its CLI to be active and the feature to be configurable. So in this step, we will configure, we will configure NetFlow. So let's start by enabling the NetFlow service. So feature NetFlow. Okay. So after we have enabled the service, we can go ahead and start the real NetFlow configuration. And we will start by configuring a flow record. A flow record defines what information NetFlow will trap. The match keyword within the flow record will define on which fields the NetFlow, sorry, the flow creation is going to be based on, while the collect keyword defines the information that will be exported together with the flow. A flow record translates it in a hardware NetFlow profile and mask, similar to what we have on the 6500, uh, like when we were handling the flow mask. So let's start configuring the flow record. So, flow record, let's call it NXOS rec. Okay, so match, again, match, the match keyword defines on which field the flow creation is going to be based on. So we will do match IPv4 destination address match IPv4 source address and also match we can do match IP protocol in terms of collection again the collect keyword defines the information that will be exported together within with the flow so we will do collect first of all transport TCP flags flags. Finally, we support the TCP flags in hardware, so we will be able to export them. What also we can do is collect routing forwarding status. So this information will tell us whether the flow has been dropped because of NACL, because of a FIB, and so on, or whether the flow has been actually forwarded. That's pretty much it. This is a simple flow record that we can use uh, in, in the NetFlow configuration. After the flow record, we can define a flow exporter. Okay, so a flow exporter defines where and how to export the information that has been collected by the NetFlow. So the NetFlow exporter includes the destination address of the reporting server, the type of transport, uh, the format, uh, we support only version 5 and version 9, and uh, other uh, variables that are related to the exporter. So let's configure a flow exporter. Flow exporter. As you can see, it's simple. It's very 
um, very intuitive the way we configure NetFlow on the Nexus 7000. So let's see what we have here. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have a description to NetFlow collector X, for example. So we're gonna have a destination, okay? I mean, the IP address of the collector, mm, for example, 3.3.3.3. .3 we can also specify a VRF to be used when exporting the NetFlow statistics. In this case, we don't, but if we want, the support is there. We can define a source interface for this packet. And we, it's good to have a loopback interface there. We can define the transport. We support only UDP for now. Okay, so UDP. We can define the port. For example, this one. Oops. Ah, sorry. Okay. I specify the version, version 5, for example. And we are done with the exporter. At this point, after configuring the flow record and the flow exporter, we can now put these two pieces together into an object that we call flow monitor and attach the flow monitor to the interface. When we attach the flow monitor to, interface, to the interface, this will enable NetFlow on that particular interface. So on, a, in, on an XOS, you can actually enable NetFlow on per interface basis. So let's create the flow monitor. Flow monitor and XOS mon. So we do record and XOS rec exporter and XOS exp You can have up to two different export per each flow monitor. Anyway, for now, let's just ignore this message. Some of the field will not be exported because we require version nine. Actually, let's fix it. Let's say flow exporter and XOS exp version nine. Okay, and we are, we are fine. So if we do at this point show running config netflow, if there is all the information, all the information that uh, belongs to the running config that is pertinent to NetFlow. Okay, we have a flow record, we have a flow monitor, and flow, uh, sorry, we have a flow exporter, a flow record, and a flow monitor. Now we can go on an interface and actually attach the uh, flow monitor. So we can pick interface a2 slash 2, okay, and we can do IP flow monitor and XOS mon. And we can do an input. As you can see, we support also egress NetFlow. Now, if you do again the show running config NetFlow, you see that we have uh, the uh, we have uh, a NetFlow monitor on the interface is two slash two. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we can do is we can try actually to see uh, the content of the uh, NetFlow table. This command will change in later uh, software releases. Two. We have just some OSPF packet as you can see. So let's try to ping. As you can see, the flow is there. Okay, this pretty much concludes the step on net. Step number 10, Wireshark. Wireshark uh, is also known as a Ethereal. It's a network protocol analyzer, which is the de facto standard across many industries